Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Wherever you are in the world, thanks for stopping by to watch another episode as the High Elves in Warhammer 2. Uh, we're getting we're getting close to finishing the third ritual, but we have one more army from the Puppets of Chaos that we need to deal with. And boy, oh boy, is it pretty elite. Uh, not only a lot of Silver Chevrons, but I think they have two Hell Cannons, Chaos Trolls, Chaos Knights... Uh, they have, like, two Chosen, two Chosen with great weapons. The only good thing is that their Lord is level 1, uh, I'm pretty sure. Or is he? Maybe he's level 18, actually. Oh, no, he's... So that's not even good. That's... That's... I'm so, so stupid. That just means that there's one of them, obviously. But, okay, he's level 18. So, yeah, that's going to be a tough battle. I've got my army here. Uh, but I don't think that they'll be able to defeat this army no. in open combat, if I'm honest. These Chosen and Chosen with Great Weapons, look at their health. Over 10,000 hit points. That is insane. What are my White Lions? 7,000. Even my eagle is like half half hit points as them. I so we're going to wait till Alistair gets uh, these four more units of white lions. And then we're going to kind of pincer move down here and crush this last army. And uh, our income is looking pretty good. Once we get rid of that army, we'll have an even better income because they are raiding currently. Seven, and over key. here, Tyrion will be pushing to take Alicia very soon as well. And that should hopefully bump up our income even more. But we are holding at the Shrine of Cain. We are still building this thing here. 13 more turns. Getting the walls all up, though, which is good. And I don't really have much more money to do anything, so uh, I guess we'll just bring this army back to the Eagle Gate. Because I kind of need some kind of force that I can kind of call up to help on this side. But, yeah, other than that, I think we're good. Let's take a look at this guy. He's going for the other skull. I'm a little nervous about this pirate army, though, so we'll see which direction they go. But I think as soon as we kind of take out the... Or, sorry, not take out, but we finish this third ritual, I think I'm going to take this army and sail them over and uh, just eliminate the pirates of Sartosa once and for all. Uh, they have a pretty garbage garrison, surprisingly considering that their city is, like, level 5 and everything. But as long as that army is not on the move, or is on the move and not garrisoned inside the city, then we should be able to take it out. And and the best part is, is that, that that settlement is a... It's just a province on its own. So that would be really useful to have. Anyways. Enough talk in there. Let's then fast forward. Ah. Oh, that's frustrating. That really sucks. Oh, lore masters, man. I am the heir of Anarian, and I bid you welcome. Oh, what do you want? You're declaring war on me, really. Good, so I brought the lore masters in. Even though they actually like this clan. That sucks that they took Alicia. That's so annoying. I wanted that city. Oh, what are they going to do here? They're actually sieging me. Really? Well, out. I actually can't even get over there. I will do my duty. Let's uh, put Can you I right here. Assistance? How's our income? Five thousand per turn. That is not bad. Let's get a few eagles in there for Alistair. And good. The pirates have left, so let's get this nice, hefty bonus of cash. 
boom, 10,000. We've got a banner of Illyrian. I really have to kind of re re go through my banners. Um, okay, so the lore masters are being super annoying. So what do I do with Tyrion now? Is the question. Our traditions make us strong. Can uh, build up a few things here. Um, I'm okay. I don't really need growth. Eagle Gate, don't really need to worry about. Salvation Isles, that's all good. Here we go, we can start leveling up some of our Trinket Makers. Get us some more income. Gain Val, you need walls, my friend. That's 3,400. White Tower could get more walls. Could level that up. Income from all buildings. Yep, that would be huge. And Angerial. What about Vol's Anvil over here? They're getting their walls. Um, oh, we could actually get rid of that because we're we don't need any more growth now that we've got all of the main settlement chains built up. We've got 5333 three, three here as well, so let's go ahead and get rid of those. And how are we looking here? 3, 3, and 4, so we'll leave that for a little while longer. 433, three, three, so we'll leave that. I guess we can do that for more growth. Might as well. Okay, so uh, it'll be interesting. I kind of am hoping that they'll just siege us because uh, we haven't really had a good siege. So that might be interesting. They would 100% lose, but... Actually, I could probably sally out and just take them out. Well, it, even with the garrison, it, uh, I think that's a total lie. I think we could definitely beat them. But we'll give them one turn to see if maybe they want to scale the walls. You need me. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight white lions. That is plenty. So I maybe Alistair will actually go over to Sartosa. We'll see. We'll see. So we got some unassigned skill points oh, here. One of the princes. Uh, Root Marcher... Oh, he's getting some... He's got all his bow stuff leveled up. Speed and melee defense. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> forgot to move Tyrion. Uh, I think it'll just be time to confederate with the lore masters, but I don't want to because they have so much territory that I just won't be able to hold on to or don't have any want to hold on to. We got some rites being performed by Nagarond and Itza. Vessels of Chaos is destroyed. Uh, looks like they didn't attack us. Protector of the All right, Tyrion. Oh, okay. So, actually, let's following your orders. Let's just back off here Alariel guides me. and see if the lore masters move out their forces. Agholt looks like is coming in here. Are they at war with the Agholt tribe? Me. They are. Excellent. Excellent. Make this quick. I have important matters to attend to. Like, we could confederate with them, but I'm kind of more Phoenix inclined Port. to confederate with these guys. Greetings, fellow Asur. What brings you here? Get us some more settlements, some more cash. Apparently, they're strength three, too. They've got some sizable armies over here. Yeah, all this lore master territory. I just I don't really want to try and hold that against Nagarond. I'd rather just have uh, the territories 
on the aisle. Because they're all scattered about. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen territories that I would get. The only problem is, is that I would have to really work hard to keep these tribes at bay. That's maybe what I should do is just go go with Tyrion. Get rid of some of these. I'm going to take a lot of attrition going over there, but maybe going up against the scaling. wonder how many territories the scaling have. They only have three settlements, so actually we could destroy them, I think. They're defensive allies with the egg hole. Huh, so let me know in the comment section. I probably won't do that this episode, but should I bring Tyrion and maybe get rid of these three scaling settlements? That would really kind of consolidate this border that I was so worried on holding in the first place. And then uh, I could move to the Agol tribe after. The problem is that they are a massive faction. They have 13 settlements. They are strength rank 4. The scaling, not so strong. So let me know what you guys think about that. But for now, I'm kind of hoping that uh, Agol will sweep in here and then I can just uh, take it back from them. But we've got another 8k, which is excellent. Let's get some trinkets in here. And I've already got an elven trinket maker over here. Um, well, I guess I could just start putting in... Elven Forge... Cultural advancements. I guess I'll just put some military buildings in there for now. Because I think there was uh, some other spots where I got rid of... Yes, over here. So let's get a trinket maker here. Temple of Azurian. I think it's time maybe we did actually go for some Phoenix Guard up there, so let's go for that. Our defenses will hold. Actually, 7,200. Where where was that Shimmering or Shrine of Azurian? Let's cancel that. And we'll save up for Lothar, and we'll get some Phoenix Guard in there. I think that would be a good Princess plan. But let's go ahead and fight this battle. It says that we're not going to be able to win this, but I disagree. I, I think we should be able to smash them here. So I'll see you guys on the battle map. Welcome to the battle map, guys. And oh, yes, getting some fire with the Eagle Claw bolt throwers, but receiving some fire in return from the Hell Cannon. I'm definitely going to have to try and get rid of that quickly. Let's uh, send them over. Now, we do have quite a bit of cav over here, so I'm going to have to try to skirmish them down if possible. And I've got my reinforcements coming in, so let's move them all up as well. Got a lot of Lothar and Sea Guard here. So hopefully, actually, with these archers... Should be able to help us. Let's go after them. And let's group it together. And let's get the eagle over here as well. Bolt claw thrower. Let's fire against those chaos warriors. And derp a derp a derp. I just allowed my bolt throwers to get charged by... Charged by these Chaos Knights with the Lances. That's what happens when you're not really watching. Let's uh, pick down these Chosen here. Got the uh, Chaos Trolls in melee, though, which is good. 
And we are firing. Uh, let's get these in over here. I need you guys to start focusing these warriors. Uh, can you guys pick back up your stuff? Let's get them over here. Bolt thrower. Yep, keep firing at them. Oh, my micro is so bad right now. That's good. Just keep picking them apart, boys. Let's uh, get some zoom-ins here. The White Lions fighting Chaos. The White Lions should be able to take out these Chaos Warriors, hopefully. But they are under quite a bit of pressure. We've also... I believe these are the Chosen over here, so they're causing us a little bit more trouble. But we're getting some nice volleys into their flanks as well with our archers. And we're starting to get some troops that are freed up. Let's move them over here to go after the cavalry. Uh-oh, I got my cavs stuck in melee. That's not good. Charge into them for me. You come after them. Ooh, this cav is having some trouble over here. My noble's in all alone now. We've actually got some warriors that have gotten past our lines here. So we need to bring these guys around. Let's bring in some reinforcements. Let's bring these guys across. And we need this Lothurn Sea Guard as well over here. Let's get this noble over here. How we doing? Looking pretty good. Let's get these eagles to stop them now. Oh, my archer is getting caught up in melee again. Thanks, uh, skirmish mode. Appreciate it. What are these chaos knights? Yeah, of course they're gonna take us down. Keep firing at them though. Probably losing a lot of troops over here. They're still following into my archers, really. Uh, the bolt throwers, we can just stop them from firing now. This one as well can stop. Let's get the spears in behind here. Yeah, these archers are getting cut down. There we go. We got the Lothurn Sea Guard now as our reinforcements coming in. Let's get this noble over here to see if he can stop these knights from following us. Eagles go after them. They still got their lord, actually. Let's get all of the Lothurn Sea Guard to go after this lord. He is still alive and kicking. More knights coming in over here. They're really breaking, breaking through, which is not bad of the AI. They're really pressuring my my flank here. I thought that they would actually go more towards the reinforcement flank and I'd be able to envelop them, but obviously that's not the case. Uh, there we go. We're finally breaking them. Which is good to see. There we go. They're broken as well. Victory. Excellent. Let's try and get these over here. This cav came back. And let's fast forward. Probably lost quite a few there. Well, 
500. That's not bad, considering the... the eliteness of the forces that we were fighting against. Looks like he's going to escape, though, which is kind of frustrating, but we'll just end the battle there. So, yeah, decisive victory. I will see you guys on the campaign map. All right, here we are on the campaign map. So we lost our noble, actually, Bella Shane. I did not see where he fell, but that is really sad. He's been with me for a while, so we're going to have to raise another of them. And we lost one of our Illyrian Reavers with gold experience, too. And this one just hung on, getting one kill each. But a lot of their chosen units really didn't get that many kills, which is surprising. These uh, Chaos Knights were what really did it. We but uh, no let's take master. the replenishment. And they're going to retreat, but Alistair will be right there to get rid of them. Surely a cruel chest by the gods. Bella Shane has been killed in the battle at Glittering Tower Straits of Lothurn. Defender so, of yeah, we need to get another lord here now. And let's convert this to... Oh, it's already on tax. Excellent. Noble, lore master, or mage. I think we should make him a noble. Spearman archers, Lothar and Seagard... Squishy. I'm thinking maybe this guy. I think this guy would be pretty solid. Standing by. So let's get him in. Share my experience. Guide me. And we've got a few to level him up with, so let's get the barded steed. We'll get his that. And that. Very nice. So yeah, he will go into there. Let's just get rid of these guys really quickly. The Asua need. And we can take their punishment there. And they're gone. Excellent. Alistair getting another level. Leadership upkeep. Yes, please. That will save on our white lines as well. So he's going to replenish up. And we kind of need some calves somewhere. I'm surprised we... Can we even what get Cav, or... We can. Silver Helms with Shields, maybe. Two, three, four, five. I think we got some Silver Helms with Shields. Three units of them. That can be transferred to Alistair's army. And then we'll swap over the archers as well. Give them a lot of archers, which is good. Actually, we can just merge these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he needs two more. White lions. And that's pretty good there. And then, yeah, Alistair is going to be the one charged with going to take out the pirates of Sartosa. You can see that the Sartosa fleet is taking attrition over here. And they are very far away from their settlement. So we will be pushing there very soon. But yeah, a lot of building being done, which is good. I think that we're not really in danger of anything for the remainder of our ritual. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, you guys wrecking the echo tribe there. Uh, all right, well, I guess they can just hold on to that for now. I'll go up to uh, Misnar and grab that from them if they can take it out. Mission issued. Capture the following settlement. Really? Way over here, eh? Are we even at war with this faction? What is this? Mora Moraheb's Howlers? Howlers? 
We are at war with... I guess I actually could have just checked over here. Oh, so they're a Skaven faction. Uh, we could. We could with Alistair's force here. Okay, let's give him all the archers and the silver helms. Take back those archers. I light the way. And then Taking you can go back residence. to the glittering tower. Of I will share my experience. And that is a pretty solid force there, so. Alright, I guess we could head over there to do that. Maybe just sack it or, or raise it or something. Do we have to capture it, it said? And occupy. Yeah. Lethal grace given forth. Send uh, this guy over across there. Let's do better in campaign. Shield of Merowyn. Excellent. Um, yeah, Lothurn, we wanted to go get some Phoenix Guards, so that's pretty much all of our money. But Tyrion, we've got to do something with him, so I think that we are going to push him to take out the scaling, if you guys are cool with that. But we could add a few more units into this army, just to make it a little bit stronger. Oh, this is global. That's why it's so expensive. Well, you're fine for now, I guess. Shield against the darkness. Shield against the darkness. So, let's uh, send them over to here. Beginning my journey. And he is on the beginning of his journey. So, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. I don't really have much else to do. Let's just do one more end turn. way over here, really. Looks like Clan Pestilens is sieging Ax... Axlotl? Axotl? Axotl? I don't know. I think that's a Lizardman faction, though. Faction destroyed. Thagen's errantry. Really? So we lost our trade agreement with them. And the Vampire Coast is also destroyed. Interesting. Interesting. Can okay. I offer now, where can we land here is the question. Gonna take attrition as soon as we land. Highball. Across the waves. Across the waves. Ha ha ha. Alright, Angerial. Uh, yep, yeah, go ahead. Chanted shield. Lethal grace given form. Let's go over to this one now. Angerial really needs some stuff here. So, what can I get for you? I can have a trinket maker. And that for public order. Let's get that buffed up for more money. Same with this here. That'll give us some more money. Ooh, we have Nagarond over here. Look at their ships, too. That is awesome. But they are coming right for the Salvation Isles, which is a little bit worrisome. Where? Protector of Elfwan. Yeah, you need to get over here and you need to get some you need to get some troops while on the way except he's in force march so he cannot now. But that's okay. We need we to get him over later. to well, maybe Setting to the high veil just to watch. It is a My 10 stack. Knowledge. Are we even at war with Nagarond? We are not, but how about Defender the lore masters? 
Blood Hall Coven, but no, we're ni neither of us are at war with them. Interesting, interesting. Defender of Alpha. Let's get. Uh, can we do this in one turn? Yes, we can. Just move over to here. Onward. Just too bad because I think they're coming for Tor, this settlement here. But we're just gonna block them. Look at this garbage army. Wow, chariot spam and marauder horsemen spam much? Seriously. Okay, we're headed over to there. We got this one at the Glittering Tower, which we could actually buff up with some more units, I think. Eighteen. So that'd get us some more of them. And let's just do one more turn, because we got one turn remaining. So let's get that done, and then we'll end the episode. And our technology is going to be done next turn as well. Oh, they're coming to garrison it. Smart move. So, the egg hole wouldn't have succeeded in taking that anyways. It's kind of funny that I'm really, really encouraging enemies of my military ally to take settlements so that I can take it from them. They really need to start adding back in. I hope that they do with Thrones of Britannia that old way in Medieval 2 where you can just buy a settlement from a faction. You just give them some money or trade them a settlement that maybe you don't want. Uh, I really wish that they would bring back that mechanic, but there we go. They took make that. Bel Cordadris, the Scholar King. His knowledge bequeathed to those who searched, including where the third shard lay and how to slay the worm that haunted it. is against us. There are others that perform their own rituals of dominance over the Vortex. Okay, so there's the third ritual complete, and we're already almost halfway to the fourth ritual. And we got some technology researched. Excellent. So we could probably put something else in here now. Marble stockpile, minus 10 construction. Can I offer assistance? And we should Journey be able to along. land. Actually, let's Across land next waves. turn. I cannot do no, this. we should. Anchors away. Yeah, we're going to take some attrition, but next turn we should be able to siege them. Me four, four. They're going to have an 11 stack there. How can I assist you? But they've got this other army over here that Fortis I did not see as well. Now. So actually, Alistair may be beaten back here. I serve the king. Snag that real quick. Campaign, some treasury, excellent. And yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Uh, Tyrion is going to be moving forwards to get rid Son of, of the king. this settlement. Into position. So uh, we can make them upset if we want. I don't really care. But we'll decide next turn if you want me to go after the scaling and get rid of them. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of content in the future. And I will see you in the next one.